Since 1966, Vans has been creating some of the most popular shoes out there. For the last 57 years, Vans sneakers have remained affordable, high quality, good looking, and been a staple in many of our closets. And that's why in today's video, we're counting down the top 10 Vans shoes for 2023. But before we dive into things, I should say that although this list is a top 10 list, all of the sneakers on this list are great, and just because one is at the top of the list and one is at the bottom of the list doesn't mean the one at number one is better than the one at number 10. Not only that, a lot of shoes were left off of the list, and that's just because Vans has so many different shoes available, so I tried to put shoes on this list that were newer for 2023, which means we left off some of the classics like the Half Cabs and Eras, which I think are excellent sneakers. They were on last year's list, and personally, they're shoes that I wear all the time. That doesn't mean that they're bad sneakers, it just means that I'm trying to highlight some of the newer shoes. And of course, if you want to grab any of the shoes mentioned in today's video, I've made sure to link them through the YouTube shopping tab, which is below your screen if you're watching on desktop, and on your screen if you're watching on mobile. But with all of that out of the way, let's dive right into the list. At number 10 is the Van Slip-On T. TRK. Over the last couple years, we've seen a huge spike in popularity of clog style slip-on shoes, things like Crocs or Yeezy Foam Runners, and now it seems like Vans is throwing their hat into the ring with the slip-on TRK. This shoe essentially is a rubber version of the incredibly popular Vans slip-on. In fact, they've even molded into the shoe the iconic checkerboard pattern. Now you might be saying to yourself, why do we need a rubber version of the Vans slip-on? Well, according to Vans, this shoe is designed specifically for beachgoers. Unlike Crocs or Yeezy Foam Runners, which are designed to be worn daily, the Vans slip-on TRK TRK is designed specifically for people on the beach, like surfers who are wearing shoes to and from the water. And of course, that being the intended use case, this shoe is designed to be easily washable with something like a hose. In fact, it looks like the holes on the midsole are specifically designed to drain water after you wash off the shoes, which I think is a pretty nice touch. Now, in addition to this shoe being easily washable, because this shoe is made up of one piece injected molded rubber, it's also very durable and very compactable. You can actually fold this up, throw it in your backpack with no issues, and it'll pop back into shape. Not only that, Van specifically designed the outsole of this shoe to be incredibly traction heavy. This shoe is designed to grip on anything, which if you've ever worn regular shoes to the beach, you know once you get sand in the traction pattern, those shoes will slide around on anything. And even though the upper of the shoe is made up of rubber, which is not traditionally a breathable material, it is a very breathable shoe because of all these ventilation holes that are stamped into the material. And if you're not a fan of this all black design, Vans also makes a bunch of different colors, like pairs of Crocs. They've got camo, they've got cream, they've got speckled, they've got pretty much anything that you could look for. And for 55 bucks, you're getting a very capable beach and water shoe. Number nine, the Vans Old school stacked. So for whatever reason, stacked midsoles are coming back into fashion. We've seen it with Converse most recently, we've seen it with Reebok, and now we're seeing it with Vans. And while no, this is not a style that I would personally wear, it's definitely a style that's on trend for 2023. Essentially what Vans did was take one of their most popular silhouettes, the Vans Old Schools, and throw it on this chunky midsole. And hey, if you're a fan of this chunky midsole look, the Vans Old School is one of the best shoes you can have on top of this super thick midsole. The midsole itself is very thick and consequently very heavy, but that's pretty much par for the course when it comes to stacked midsole shoes. Now, in addition to the much thicker midsole, there are some other details that separate this shoe from the standard old school, and that's things like the semi-translucent gum hits that you find around the heel of the shoe and on the toe of the sneaker. And I guess if I had to pick a stacked or super thick midsole shoe to wear to add a couple inches in height, this would probably be the shoe that I would grab just because I love the old school, and honestly, it's a good looking shoe. Of course, like a lot of the other thick midsole shoes that are available on the market, you do have this jagged midsole tread, which actually might make this shoe decent for hiking. Not that you'd ever hike in this shoe, but you could if you wanted wanted to, and for a retail price of 90 bucks, you're actually getting a very stylish shoe for cheaper than the competition. At number 8 is the Vans Ultra Range VR3. So this shoe takes one of Vans most popular and comfortable models and makes it even more comfortable. In last year's video, we talked a lot about the Vans Ultra Range and how great of a shoe that was. This year, it seems like Vans has taken that silhouette and made it even more comfortable by giving the shoe a knit upper. According to Vans, the upper is made up of 50% organic cotton, 36% recycled PET, and 14% recycled nylon, which is pretty cool. It feels just like a standard knit on my foot, I'm not gonna lie. However, it is nice to see Vans utilizing some recycled materials. And honestly, when compared to the previous Ultra Range, this shoe is significantly lighter and more comfortable. And not only that, because of the knit upper, it's actually a lot more breathable as well. And it seems like Vans is taking this surf-inspired silhouette and turning it into a very wearable lifestyle sneaker. Some of the other things that I love about this version of the shoe in particular is that the VR3 features 50% bio-based EVA in the midsole. And because this shoe features an EVA midsole compared to the standard Vans vulcanized midsole, it's much softer underfoot than a standard pair of Vans. All in all, the Vans Ultra Range VR3 is a well-priced sneaker at 120 bucks that's incredibly comfortable on foot and is a great everyday lifestyle sneaker. However, even though this pair of Vans is incredibly comfortable on foot, it would be that much more comfortable if you wore it with a pair of Apothecary socks. Apothecary is my sock brand. We make incredibly comfortable socks that go great with all of your sneakers. They're very breathable and very soft because of our ISO Weave technology, and you can grab them right now on apothecary.com 
linked in the top of the description below. And seriously, they really do go great with all the sneakers in your collection, whether those sneakers are Vans or Jordans or whatever. Coming in at number seven is the Vans Skate High MTE2. According to Vans, MTE actually stands for Made for the Elements. The design of this shoe and the technology behind this shoe draws from Vans' extensive experience making snowboard boots. And that's why, even though this shoe looks like a pair of Vans Skate Highs, it's actually a completely different silhouette. The leather used on the upper is coated with a water-resistant finish, which makes it perfect for snowy conditions. The outsole of the shoe has been retooled to give it a lot more traction, again, in snowy conditions. And not only that, Vans also fitted this shoe with their Prima Loft insulation system, which makes it incredibly warm on foot. And then finishing off the shoe, Vans included their Comfy Cush midsole, which makes it incredibly soft underfoot. And so for a price point of $150, while yes, it is the most expensive shoe on the list, it's probably the most durable and most wearable in the winter. And number six is the Vans Skate Old School. Yes, this shoe looks a lot like a pair of standard old schools. However, when you take a deeper look at this shoe underneath the hood, you'll realize that Vans made a lot of changes to this shoe to make it a great skateboarding shoe. First off, the materials used on the upper are reinforced by Duracap, which means they'll last longer through kick flips and ollies. You should be good to go for a long time. Not only that, but they've also deepened this neural texture around the toe to make it last longer, as well as raising the sidewalls of the midsole to make it a little bit more durable, and it also gives the shoe a little bit more of a vintage look. And according to Vans, their outsole is now made up of their Sick Stick rubber compound, which is pretty sick name, and apparently sticks to grip tape a lot better. And then the final change between the skate old schools and the standard old schools is that these shoes actually use a pop cush footbed, which is similar to comfy cush, except it offers a little bit more energy return. And seriously, it's crazy soft underfoot. Now, of course, all of these changes do come with the price. This shoe is more expensive than the standard old schools at $80. However, if you are a skater and you are looking for a new pair of skate shoes, this is a great way to go, especially when compared to the standard old schools, which are a great shoe. But if you're really trying to skate in the shoes, these ones are definitely better. And number five, the Vans Authentic. So as I'm sure you all know, this was the shoe that started it all for Vans. Originally called the number 44 deck shoe, the Vans Authentic has been their longest running model and probably their most popular. In my opinion, this shoe is the epitome of clean simplicity. You can't get much cleaner and simpler than a canvas pair of Vans. Besides the incredible history and story behind these shoes, these shoes are still good looking to this day, 56 years after they first released. And the good thing about these shoes is that they're cheap at just 60 bucks and you can get them in pretty much any color you want. I mean, for most of my teenage years, this shoe was it for me. I went to every Warped Tour in this shoe. I worked at the Vans store in this shoe. This shoe was my favorite. And for a $60 shoe that's made of just simple canvas and rubber, it actually lasts a surprisingly long time. Next up at number four is the Skate High Reconstruct. So obviously the Vans Skate High has been one of their most popular models since it first released back in 1978. But it looks like in 2023, Vans is taking one of their most classic models and remixing it. I would say since about 2017, when Off-White started collaborating with Nike, this sort of deconstructed look has been popular, and while yes, Vans has released deconstructed versions of the Skate Highs, in my opinion, this is the best. Essentially, this shoe is designed to look like it was put together from pieces of material found on the cutting room floor, and because of that, you get this really interesting sort of deconstructed and reconstructed look. Obviously, that's why they called this shoe the Skate High Reconstruct. And while no, this shoe is definitely not as simple as a standard pair of Skate Highs, in my opinion, it's a lot more interesting and still an incredibly clean look. On this colorway, you've got this really nice dark navy suede on the toe of the shoe, you've got some more dark navy canvas on the heel of the shoe and then in the midfoot of the shoe you've got this double layer jazz stripe which I think is a really nice touch the bottom layer is this black leather with this cool zigzag stitching and the top layer is this white leather that really pops and you'll notice as you look around the shoe a lot of the different panels on this shoe come in double layers which I think is really interesting in fact even the midsole of the shoe is multiple layers you've got three layers on the heel and three layers on the midfoot this shoe is definitely one of Vans more out there silhouettes but it's a clean look and one that I really dig and I think if you're a more fashion forward person that kind of likes that off-white vibe without the off-white price, this is a great way to go. And for 100 bucks, this shoe is not that much more expensive than a standard pair of Skate Highs. And number three is the Vans Ultra Range XO. So yeah, I know we've already talked about Ultra Range sneakers on this list, and this could have been a spot for a different shoe like the Vans Eras or the Vans Skate Highs or something like that. But the reason I put this shoe on the list is mainly because I'm a sneakerhead and I love the way that this sneaker looks. Now, unlike the other Ultra Range shoes, the VR3s that we talked about earlier on the list, this shoe does not feature a knit upper. Instead, you've got this upper made up of nylon paneling as well as some suede around the toe of the sneaker which actually makes this shoe more durable overall and like I said personally I love the way this shoe looks it reminds me a lot of the Tom Sachs Nike Mars yard shoes the colorway is very similar however this shoe is a lot cheaper than that shoe because that shoe resells for like six grand this shoe on the other hand cost me a cool 100 bucks 
and that's it. And honestly, it looks very similar for significantly less money. Plus, this shoe is incredibly comfortable underfoot because of the Ultra Kush EVA midsole. Comparing it to the Ultra Ranges that we talked about earlier, the midsole feels very similar. However, the outsole itself is a little bit different. And personally, if I had to decide between those two shoes, I probably would go in this direction because I like the paneling on this shoe a little bit better. Although, the other shoe might be more comfortable when it comes to the upper of the shoe because it's softer and more breathable. And this is the shoe that I think I would find myself wearing on a more regular basis. And out of all of the newer silhouettes that Vance has introduced over the last couple years, I think the Ultra Range is probably the most popular, and in my opinion, the EXO is the best version of that shoe. And again, it's just $100, which is cheaper than a lot of the other popular sneakers on the market, and you're getting a great looking shoe that's incredibly comfortable, in fact, more comfortable than most other pairs of Vans. And number two is the Vans Slip-On. So I think it's fair to say that this shoe could be Vans' most popular shoe. Is that how you say it? Vans's or is it Vans? Either way, these shoes have been worn by everybody from musicians to skateboarders to just normal people. And I'm sure growing up, you probably owned a pair as well. And there's a reason why the shoe that was originally named the Vans Style 98 is so popular. It's comfortable, surprisingly, for a shoe that's designed this simply. And it looks really good and is super easy to wear. And let's be honest, for 60 bucks, you can't really get a more iconic sneaker. Finally, coming in at number one, is the Vans Old School. I would bet that the Vans Old School is probably their most popular shoe right now. This shoe is incredibly stylish, incredibly easy to wear, and at just $70, it's hard to find a better deal. The Vans Old School features suede on the toe and on the heel, a canvas midfoot section, and a leather jazz stripe along the side. Again, for $70, bucks, you can grab two pairs of these compared to another pair of popular sneakers out there and have two different colors to wear or maybe a second pair to wear after your first pair wears out. The Vans Old School is just such a great value shoe that's so popular, and if you love the way this sneaker looks but you don't like the way it feels on foot, you can actually grab the comfy cush version of this shoe which is a little bit more expensive but makes the shoe a lot more comfortable for daily wear. But even as a sneakerhead who has around 100 pairs of shoes, I find myself wearing my Vans Old Schools a lot more than most of the other pairs in my collection. Which kind of sucks to admit because I've spent a lot more money on all of those shoes than my pairs of Vans but at the same time it just shows how versatile this shoe actually is. But that pretty much wraps up the list for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to comment your favorite pair of Vans in the comment section down below and I'll see you all in the next one.